After repelling O Chunks, Mario and Co. followed the Floro Sapiens underground. Was the hideout of the Floro Sapiens just up ahead? Wow, it's dark and narrow. Hey, who just kicked me? Sorry, all me. Our heroes followed the long, dark corridor, listening to the echoes of their own voices. As they groped their way along, the light at the end of the tunnel grew brighter. They had finally arrived at the inner sanctums of the Floro Sapiens. The Kragnons kidnapped from downtown of Crag had to be around somewhere. Chapter 5-3 A Crag in the Dark Welcome back guys to Super Paper Mario. Last time we made our way to the Floral Sapiens hideout. Today is the day where we put an end to all of this. I guess it's known as the caverns, not the hideout, but that's what they said at the beginning of this, so they misled me just a little bit. But anyways, it's all good. Don't forget to drop a like on this video. Let's actually try to get today's episode to 1,000 like guys. And also, don't forget to answer the comment question of the day. Last time I asked you guys, what is your favorite Let's Play of mine? And here are some of the responses that we got. Today's comment question of the day is if you could live. And in one chapter of this game, or any chapter in this game, it doesn't have to be just one specific, it could be any chapter with the levels. What chapter would it be and why? For me, it would most likely be chapter two. I think that's Merle's Mansion's chapter because obviously it's a nice big mansion and the scenery's nice. It's like a nice vibe, I feel like, you know, for for me at least. Or it would be um Frankie's Mansion. No, that's not his name. It's Donald. Just kidding, it's Donnie. I'm just kidding. I know his name. It's Francis. Francis's Mansion because Francis is a geek and you know, uh, I dig it. I dig it, you know. I'm actually a geek myself. I, I like I like electronics. I feel like him and uh, I would get along really well because we like a lot of the same things like Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, the Yoshi eggs, maybe not butterflies so much. But we, we, he has internet, so that's also a plus. I mean, I would definitely want to live there because he has internet. So, yeah, let me know down in the comment section below what your answer is and why. Coming to you live from the foul darkness that the Floro Sapiens call home. Lesser Kragnons would weep softly. No one has set foot in this cave and emerged alive. But some make history with the sheer gallon willpower of Flint Cragley is such a man. And Frank Fl Flint Cragley. That's his name. Is that his, is that his name? Flint Cragley? Cragley Ho! Into the Floro Sapiens. Cave of Doom. Um, a Flint Cragley Crag trotting adventure. No, no, wait a second. That'll never play well in the sticks. How about Cragley Ho? Taste danger. Flint Cragley versus a, a, a re cragnated mummy in Floro Sapiens Central. I wonder if that'll test well with the weekend's audience. With the weekend audience, those Cragnons are fickle. <laughs> what is this guy on about? Like, seriously, you're not on a TV show. And why does he look like Nigel Thornberry? Except without a mustache. Maybe his eyebrows compensate for that, but still. This is the Nigel Thornberry of this game. Ah, excuse me, sir. Hey, yeah, give us your attention. Cragly oh! Suddenly out of the cave, mist, mysterious slavery creatures lurched into the into view. Did they hope to dine on filet of Cragly? Would our heroes meet their uh, mandibles? Tune in after this brief commercial break to witness the troted conclusion. Dude, you're not live on TV. You need to stop, bro. Like, seriously. The only one watching this is me. Oh, I guess you guys, too. So, I, maybe he is putting on a show for you guys. Maybe Nintendo knew one day someone would let's play this game for YouTube. And they gave this guy exactly what he needed for dialogue to entertain you guys. Sort of. Great cut print. Wrap it. Now, what do you adults want? What are you doing here? We're here to save the Kragnots, huh? You're on a quest for a treasure called the Pure Heart? Why would you say that, Mario? You're supposed to make yourself look good, dude. Say you're here to save the Kragnots. Spectacular. Just fabulous. All-time coincidence. That's what it is. Or that's what this is. Just great to meet you, fellows, fellow adventurers. Really, it is. I'm ecstatic about this. That's good. I'm not really ecstatic to see you. Look at you. You look angry, man. You look like you're just... Ooh, I don't trust this guy. He has that Pinocchio nose going on, too. Like... Seriously, I don't trust this guy. Listen, call me Flint. I'm a heck of a guy to know. Best Crag Trotter of all of our time. You may know me from Flint Cragley Crag Trotter, which airs weekly on Crag Vision. That's why I pretend to be kidnapped. I'm filming another epic show. Unfortunately, my idiot crew wandered off somewhere. So unprofessional. Well, uh, so I guess I gotta sign up to find his crew then. Maybe. I turned away for a second and they vanished into the foul blackness of this cave. Maybe it's because you have a massive ego. 
and they were sick and tired of listening to you. The worst part is they have the key that that'll get me deeper into this infernal abyss. You there, if you run into my crew, tell them I'm waiting and stomping impatiently. Pure adventurer prof uh, person personified. Thank you kindly. Yeah, all right. If we run into them, fine. All right, so um, we went from looking for pure hearts to now looking for Nigel Thornberry. Crew, that's actually pretty fun. <laughs> I'm excited, dude. All right. Oh yeah, this is this is the key that they had. It's locked, so their crew has the key. I get, according to him, the crew has the key for this. So that's what we need to do. We need to find the crew and make our way over there. But oh man, there's, I don't actually know if I should be checking out these pipes or not. Usually when I start off these chapters, I truly always don't know where to begin. I'm just like, what do I do first? Because, uh, you know, there's just a lot that going on. Oh, no, 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 no! You know what, Barry, I need you. I wonder if Barry can kill these things. Show us, Barry. Show us that you can. You can't. You can't do anything. You suck, Barry. I hate you. All right, let's go down this pipe real quick. See what we got going on over here. Uh, and we got ourselves... Oh, you know what? I forgot. I didn't even check that world in 3D. All right, that sucks. Maybe I'll come back and check it out later. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to come back anyways. Oh, no! Give me this, though. I want these. Hey, what's up? Woo! No! I'm trying to kill you first. You can't kill me. Um, let's see. Can I hit these things from... Oh, nice. I can hit these things. But I got to just... Uh, I got to just find... Oh, nice. Another shroom. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. There you go. All right. Oh, no. There you go. See, I knew you could do that. I always knew you could do something like that, which is like jump and then spin uh, Barry, and then you can uh, you can get that attack done out of the way, which is awesome. That's actually what I wanted to do. So now I just gotta perfect it, cause oh, there you go, get out of here, get out of here, sucker. There you go. Um, let me go up here real quick and check. There's nothing going on over here. You know, you can't be too sure about these places. You gotta just check every area. There you go. Oh, I hit you first, but yeah, you still managed to get an attack on me, dude. I am taking some serious damage right now. We got a horse tail. You know, we're gonna get rid of this stopwatch real quick. I'm gonna eat this horse tail. Literally, eat this horse tail. That's disgusting. You know, it reminds me of uh, cow tails. I don't know if you guys know what cow tails are. Cow tails are, uh, I don't know how to describe them. Just, you know, Josiah put a picture up for them. Not an actual cow tail. It's like candy. It's like, you get it, you, you can get it at any store. They're delicious though. It's like caramel and it has like this weird filling inside, but it's so good. It's delicious. That's what horse tail reminds me of. Every time I see them eating the horse tail, that's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking of in the back of my mind. You know, they're eating some kind of candy-like thing and not a literal horse tail. I'm sure of all things on an animal, the last thing you would want to eat is its tail. That's just like hair, pretty much. Maybe I don't know actually what a tail consists of. I can only assume it's like just the hair, you know, grown out like in a ponytail, pretty much. That's that's what it is. Okay, so where's this thing taking me? Oh no! Oh my gosh! Uh, I'm surprisingly not dead. That's weird. How am I not dead? I thought maybe I would fall to my own demise. No! Kill him! Kill him! There you go. Is he dead? So that means that means the head also dies as well. This actually looks like it's explodable. Should I, should I explode it? Let me, let me do it. Let me bomb this. Go ahead. Go ahead, boomer. Woohoo! I always take cover. Like, it's like I need to do that. I don't know why I do that. It's just a force of habit. And maybe it's because I played too much Zelda that, you know, I, I assume every time, you know, I, I use a bomb and I'm next to it and it blows up in my face, I take damage. I wish in this game they would have made it that way. Then I wouldn't feel bad, you know, for every time having to... To stop, you know, or to move back, I mean. Alright, I'm gonna really let myself take a hit, yup, for this coin. That just shows you how hungry money is for money, dude. Mario's the furthest one away from being a gold digger, but st but in this game, yeah, he needs it. He definitely needs all that moolah he can get. Alright, um, let me go ahead and hit this. Oh, okay, okay, you plant versus zombie, stupid plant, dude. I'm gonna kill you. Rip your head off. Oh, yeah. Technically, he just ripped his own head off. Like, he had no value for his life. Go ahead. Come out, Prana Plant. Woohoo! 20 damage! All right, we're going to do something cool. We're going to drop the bomb and boom! Die! We're going to do it again. We're going to do it again. Come here. I'm going to drop the bomb. No, I screwed myself up. Put it, put it, put it, put it, put it. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come this way. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yes, we did it. Very nice. That's all I wanted to do. Now, now I'm satisfied. 
So, should I bother checking these things? Probably not. I feel like I spend too much time trying to check all the blocks. It doesn't hurt, but, you know, at the same time, you shouldn't waste too much time doing that. All right, let's go over here. This is definitely a block I know for sure I can break. Actually, speaking of blocks that I can break, let me try this as well. I'm sure Kudge got this. Come on, Kudge. It doesn't work! Wow. Only this one does. Okay. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll pretend he can break more than just that. It makes me feel good about him, because I feel like at this point he's useless to have if he can only break yellow blocks. Like, let's be honest here, how many yellow blocks will we actually run into the game? I thought he could break other blocks as well, but look at this, it's a minecart. We did this in Paper Mario Sticker Star, we did this in Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, and I'm sure other Mario games as well. All of these minecart things reminds me of, like, reminded me of Donkey Kong Country Returns. Look at that, another loop-de-loop. -loop -loop. Are they really going to make me watch all this? Ooh! Another loop! Mario, I'm surprised you're not falling upside down whenever you take that loop. He's probably buckled pretty well in there. Ooh, there you go. Alright, are you almost there? Are you serious? How long is this place? Can I go in 3D? <gasps> I can! Ah, well, that's a pretty late observation to realize. Okay, okay. Am I stuck? Oh, he was just lying there on the ground. He wasn't gonna get up until I, you know, gave him the action command to do so. All right, let me switch back into Barry for protection. Oh, yeah, die. Die. An extra 150. Wonderful. There you go. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, now this is... I'm going to try him now. All right, Kludge. Kludge. There you go. I knew it. I knew you weren't a useless pixel. I knew you had a little bit of good in you, dude. He could break blocks. Just depends. Oh, I found you. Hey. Hey, you not mind controlled. Yeah, I'm not mind controlled. You escaped from processing center, bruh. Manzo maybe ought to take director there. Maybe sprout on head mellow him out. What? You're one of that Cragley's gentleman's crew member. He requested you return. Huh? You know where you director? Yes, we do. We know him. That crazy Nigel Thorburn guy. Yes, we do know where he's at. So well, that's where he's at. Ah, he told the Monzo wait here, but Monzo bet he forgot one second later. Job of Monzo really lame. Thanks, bro. Monzo head back now. Okay, this guy doesn't know how to speak English. He speaks like a caveman. I think I think these are what the Kragnons are. They're pretty much cavemen. Hey, I found I found I found them. We found them, guys. Woo! We did it. Hey guys, right, what? Why are they doing damage on me? Oh no! That took away from my XP because I killed him! I literally killed the Kragnon! What? Bro! That's cheap! Why would you make me hit him then? Oh no! I don't, I don't want anything to do with you guys! Gosh! I just stay away from me! Let me just go back into the 3D realm, dude. Oh, actually, let me check what's back here. That's nice. I didn't even notice that there was a secret spot over here. And we got ourselves a Spania. So, but you know actually what this reminds me of? It reminds me uh, of the... Uh, I don't know if... Okay, if you've seen Avatar The Last Airbender, then you're going to know what I'm talking about. If you... Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. Yeah, you guys can have fun with that thing. I don't want any... Oh, I killed it! I was going to say. They're probably hungry, so let them eat that. You know, that's... That's what they deserve for taking away 100 hard-earned EXP points of mine. That's unacceptable. But what my story was, if you guys have seen Avatar The Last Airbender, which is an amazing uh, show, by the way. I've seen it, like, several times. I used to watch it once a year, up until, like, 2014 or 13. I don't remember when, what year exactly, but then I just stopped. I'm pretty sure it was 2014, and then I stopped. But anyways, story is that uh, there's, there's an episode where uh, there's a blood bender. It's like a water bender, but they know how to bend the water in the bloodstream, and they just control people and put them in a cave. And it's just a, a water bender trying to get back at fire benders, innocent people that did nothing to them uh, for the sole purpose of, you know, the fire nation attacking all other nations and trying to gain power. But yeah, this is what it reminds me of, you know. The, the Floral Sapiens, for whatever reason, are kidnapping the Kragnons and keeping them hostage here. Not all of them are kidnapped, but, you know, every here and there, a select few of them are getting kidnapped, which is not okay. I mean, none of these poor dudes should be kidnapped, for real. Either. They're just innocent guys. I mean, not really. I'm actually kind of upset that they took they took some HP from me. All right, come on. Can I get a can a brother get a jump? That's it. There's 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 nothing there. That was a total waste of my time. All right, get out of here. I don't need you, Buzzy Beetle. All right, let's see. Um, I actually don't. Let me see what's in this room. I don't know if I 
went through this room or if I didn't go through this room. Was this the one with all the coins? Yes, it was. Okay, so we cleared that one already. So he said his crew, so I don't know if there's- there, I think there's gonna be one more guy. Um, oh! Whoa, I thought I had Barry out! Never mind. Not you, Kudge, I need Barry. Look at this guy spitting his bad morning breath on me. Come on, bro, use a little bit of mouthwash. That's unex- Ooh, that's unacceptable. He dropped something, what did he drop? He dropped a catch card. It catches the soul of an enemy, I don't want it. I don't need to capture souls, dude. I think that's a little weird. Alright, let's go up here. Anything going on up here? Nothing going on up there. All right. Uh. Uh. Dude, honestly, man, like, I'm just not really good with Barry. I know he's good, and I know you guys want me to use him. But seriously, I just, I have a really hard time using him, to be honest. Like, this is just, he, this guy's my cup of tea. Hey, we got a peachy peach. This is actually something that I want to eat right now. Give me that peachy peach. Mm, I love it. Yummy in my tummy. I need a 10. Oh, gosh. All right. I'm gonna wait for you. Go away. Go away. Go away. Hurry. There you go. I'm gonna drop you here and then blow him up. Oh, it even killed the little guy. Nice. All right. I could use another item. Actually, I should probably eat, also eat this peachy peach because it only does 10. I don't want to use any of my good stuff right now, just in case, you know. I'm not about to take another L from Mr. L. He already gave me one of those. Oh, God. I thought I had a. Uh, thought I'd bury out again, dude. This is crazy. I forget which pixels I end up tapping out at each given time. Alright. Oh, gosh. See, that's... Okay, I gotta just figure out how to do this. Okay, that's not what it's done. No! Alright, Mario, you stupid boy. I hate you. Hey, I definitely haven't been here. Alright, start the car. Right, this time I'm gonna do it in 3D. Because I didn't realize you can. Oh, yeah, look at that. And you don't even get penalized for uh, the amount of time you spend doing this in 3D. Dun 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 Ooh, there's an ult- there's a- there's two pads! I guess that's a good thing that we did it in 3D. Whoa! Whoa, that's so weird! I'm almost dead! I almost- I, I would've crashed and died, man. That, that would've not been cool. But somehow Mario managed to flip it. He rotated it somehow. Hey, what's up, Floro Sapien? I'm here to kill you and your kind! Oh, yeah. I just, I, you know, I'm gonna be real. Every time I use Barry, I feel like he's just, he moves too slow. Yes, I don't want this stupid stopwatch. I want to eat this sap soup. Yes, it, re it replenishes 3 HP, that's it. But you know, it's worth it, because at least I got something out of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. I gotta be slow with this. Oh, no, not again! What is this game's obsession with giving me- Oh, <gasps> I see someone! I see him, guys. Okay, let me go back up. I saw him. I don't know if you guys saw him, but I saw a guy. He was just by himself. It looked like he was holding a microphone or something. Alright, Peachy Peach, we need you, girl. We need you to fly your way. Woohoo! Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, another Floor Sapien. Peach is about to meet these pretty little flowers for the first time in her life. Now you're not obsessed with flowers, are you, huh? Maybe this is how she met Daisy, dude. I don't know. Hey, what's up? Whoa, where are Craggy guys from? Serious? Who are you, bruh? You're one of Flint's crew members, is that right? He's looking for you. What? You know where Director is? Yes, we do. Oh, that where he is. Thanks. Hornfells head back now. But first, you see other crew Kragnons with little sprouts on top of head. Floral Sapiens using sprout to mind control Kragnons. They see you, they attack. Don't let guard down, bruh. Crag you later. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, dude. That makes sense. I get it now. Ah, I feel bad for them now. They got the little sprouts on their heads. See, that's 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 how they're dying. Okay, okay. I can't kill him though. Don't you dare. Don't you dare kill him. Oh my gosh, dude. Come here, dude. You stupid little you stupid little mm. All right. Ooh, die. Give me that 500 EXP. We need you, Mario. Let's go into the 3D realm. See if there's anything cool going on over here. Um does that look like I can blow it up? I feel like it looks like I can blow up that wall. Actually, no, it doesn't. It's just like rubies. Rubies on the wall, man. I don't know why you want to try to get these. Look at that. Look at these rare-looking crystals. This is what I would be doing. If I was in this cave for a mission and then I found those rupees, bro, I would be collecting them and out of my way. I'd forget my mission completely. Like, seriously. I wouldn't even give it that time of day. But yeah, let's go ahead and make our way back. Start the cart ride. And then we got to go back again to check the war pipe, which is over there. 
Hopefully something go. Oh, I see what it does. No, I still don't get how Mario doesn't crash into that wall. Like, to me, that doesn't make sense. Woohoo! I guess you gotta do it in 2D now in order to make your way to the end. Whee! There you go, we did it. All right, get up, Mario. Stop being a clown. Start the car right again, yes. This better be something good. Even if you look at the walls, it looks like there's, uh, like, chain chomps, like, in, in, engraved in the walls. I can't tell, really, especially when the cart's moving. Woohoo! Hey, we did it now! Finally! Gosh, these cart, these cart segments, they take forever. They're by forever, like, two seconds, ten seconds, but still. Not, not worth it, man. Oh my gosh, look at them! So many! Yo, why do they hide them all in so many different areas? That was a totally pointless room. And if only I could kill them and just get the EXP points off of them, bro. That would be amazing. I would love that, but you know, that would just be mean. Like, I mean, that would be... That, that's not mean, that's actually insane. Mario would then be a mass murderer. Like, this guy would need to be, you know, just thrown in jail and persecuted, you know. Just kill him, I guess. Put him out. Put put everyone that, that died at the hands of Mario, you know. Bring justice to them. Somehow. By killing the dude. Oh! Okay. So, I think I'm gonna go back and check. Maybe there's a third guy. Maybe there isn't. Uh, I'm almost positive. I'm, I'm actually positive there's just two crew members. So, we'll go check. Um, actually, hold on. Wait a second. I wanna see something. Okay, that doesn't look like anything. Okay, did I check this pipe? Yeah, I did check this pipe and there's literally nothing in that pipe. Okay, that's fine. I didn't check this area in 3D. So let me check it out in 3D real quick before I exit. Doesn't look like there's anything else that I'm missing. Okay, that's good. Let's go back all the way to the beginning real quick. Hurry, 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 Mario, before you die! You're about to die, buddy boy! Alright, doesn't look like there's anything here. We're good. Ah, dang it, dude. Why did you have to do that, man? I was hoping to get out of here in one piece. I don't want to wage war against you, my dude. Alright. Wow, Mario, I literally commanded you to jump, and then he just ran. Oh, you see that? I look like I can break this. Like this, this piece of ground right here. So, let's use Booma. Boomer, my favorite little dude on my team. I like him for two reasons, okay? One of them is going to sound pretty biased, but I don't really care. I'm a huge Legend of Zelda fan, especially OOT and Majora's Mask, two of my favorite Zelda games. And this guy looks like a little fairy. Looks like Navi, dude. A lot better looking than any other pixel that we got. Oh, so it's just a nice little hidden area for coins. Well, don't mind if I do. Mario's never going to turn down an opportunity to take some coins in his pocket. Ooh, give them to me. Yummy in my tummy. All right, there you go. I don't know why I always say that. I don't even know where I learned that from. Probably Yo Gabba Gabba. Don't ask me why I used to watch Yo Gabba Gabba, because you don't want to know. I mean, it's not like a bad thing. It's not like I enjoyed the show. Oh my gosh, bro. What the heck? The dude just landed on my head. Okay, that's unacceptable. All right, let's go ahead and make our way all the way back up. I actually forgot that this is how we came down through these platforms. I think I just like jumped off, so I didn't pay much attention to it, but... We are back. Hey, is the crew back? It's a miraculous turn of events. I was reunited with my faithful camera, Kragnons. Hey, that's thanks to me, boy. But there was no time for celebration. We had to swoop to the aid of the kidnapped. With danger nibbling our heels, we ventured deeper into the Forbidden Cave. To do so, we used the key to uh, the last open door in the Forsaken Labyrinth. So, um, you do have the key, right? Let me grab that. What's up? You cragging me, you never gave key. Oh, hmm, really? What? what? What key? Oh my gosh, dude. Yes, genius, a key. What? Wait, don't tell me you don't have it either. Oh my gosh, I bet you the key's with him. I bet you the key's with him. Oh yeah, bro, you had the key, but... Oh uh, yeah, so you do, you do have it. Yes, good show it, key with me quickly, blah, blah, blah. No, bro, I had the key, not have key. You, you lost it? A tragic crew blunder ruins Cragley. Had the gods of adventure forsaken us. Nah, brah. See, Cragley says you lose this, so Cragley holds on to it. Cragley got key, brah. Uh, preposterous. If such a claim were true, there would be evidence in my pocket, which there isn't. Check your pocket, dude. 
What an idiot, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. I told you this guy's shady. I knew him. I knew he, I knew his shadiness from the moment I saw those eyebrows of his. I don't want to discriminate people because of their eyebrows, but this guy of all people, when you have a face that's always this angry, bro, you're up to no good. Gregory Ho, a miracle struck as if by magic the lost key had reunite returned to my pocket. The cave defied Kragnaut's comprehension. It was a place of purest miracles. Now he's claiming he's doing miracles. I'm telling you, this guy's a little cuckoo. Lucky turn of events, finding that key. I'm sure it somehow contributed somehow. Now onward, we must make our way to the last unopened door of the, to the horrid depths. If my research is correct, and it always is, then this door key should, or this key should open the door. Of course, dude, you're right. The door may lie a trap, and it will devour us. Woohoo! What's that you say? You want to open the door no matter what may lie in? Wait! Tremendous! Such bravery! Uh, I was planning on opening it myself, of course, but since you seem so passionate, not that I'm afraid or anything, don't be ridiculous, I mean, that's laughable. As a fellow, I told you this guy's full of it, man, I don't even want to talk to you anymore. I don't even want to talk to you, I'm done with you, dude, I'm done, I'm done with this guy. Oh, now he's leading his, he's leading the way. Look at this guy, it's because he has a camera crew and the camera's filming him and he knows it's going to be, you know, a viral YouTube hit. That's why he's showing off, it's all for the cameras. This guy truly is a, is a coward. Yes, use the cave key. So all this time, like this entire episode was dedicated to a key that this dude had in his pocket, which he then ended up blaming his crew for having. Th that's messed up. You can't trust the guy like that. I'm just saying. So yeah, I, I, hopefully this is it. I think this is the end of the episode. I mean, we did the mission already, right? And that was finding the key. Usually that's how this uh, game works, you know? They don't give you too much in an episode. They make it nice and easy for you. Woohoo! Too bad you know, I didn't get a lot, of, uh, a lot of EXP points. I was hoping to get to like maybe 280,000, but then again, that was kind of a stretch. Actually, I might still have a chance. Ooh, there's still some enemies here. I thought really this was gonna be the end of it, but um, we're at 270 now. Nice. Ooh, let me actually bust down this thing real quick. I don't even see. You can't even tell it's a yellow block in 2D. All right, Kudge, we need you, buddy. Ooh, break it down. What do we get here? <gasps> oh, dude, this is exactly what I need. A thousand extra points just for getting the superstar. And then imagine all the enemies that I'm about to just engulf right now. Oh, yes, this is it. Mario's about to show these floral sapiens who the real titan is. Oh, yeah, dude, 500 per enemy dude this is it oh my gosh i'm literally about to get to 280,000. that's exactly what i wanted and i did it well not yet but i'm about to oh no i almost did it i could do it i could do it i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it guys probably should have started like jumping and stuff that probably would have definitely gotten me there um what is this it looks like i need to also use kudge again go ahead bust it down that's there's literally nothing here. What? Bro, that was a waste. There was absolutely no benefit to that. Okay, now I want to get that guy up there. I can't, though. I think it's too late. So he's going to be the one that survives this entire operation. All right, that's fine. All right, let's go back real quick and see if there's anyone else that I might have skipped over. We're so close to 280,000, dude. What a shame. I literally almost achieved my goal, and the game's going to not give it to me. All right, it's so whatever. We're gonna get it in the next episode, guys. I, I should just even be happy that I, I, I leveled up. Well, not really leveled up, but I, I got like an extra 15,000 points without expecting it. It just suddenly happened. And we did it. We beat the level, guys. So that's gonna conclude today's episode of Super Paper Mario. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like, like I said, and also leave some suggestions for me. Um, I'm pretty sure the next episode is the boss battle episode. Usually that's how it is. Every four chapters, uh, there's a boss, or I guess every four levels. The fourth level being the boss level, obviously. So let me know what your advice is. If there's any advice that I should have or read or whatever it may be, instructions, I would really appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.